Okay. Opening a tight jar lid. When the lid of a glass jar is tight, holding the lid under hot water for a short time will often make it easier to open. Why? I give us the value of the coefficient of linear expansion, alpha glass and alpha aluminium. What, is, what does this mean? Okay, so basically, yeah, this is what it means. Okay, uh, I have a glass jar with uh, closed by aluminium lid. Okay, uh, so if I run down with uh, hot water, okay, at first the aluminium lid is uh, very tight, okay, very tight, very hard to open, but when I run down the hot water, Okay, I can easily open the lid. Okay, why does that happen? We know that every object expands when, um, when heated, isn't it? Uh, based on this uh, formula, uh, based on this formula, uh, delta L equal to alpha L naught delta T. Uh, so we know when there is a change of temperature, there must be change of length, isn't it? So that means, if, uh, if there is a, a temperature increase, the temperature of this of any objects uh, increase, there is a change of temperature. So, uh, like when the temperature increase, uh, okay, when the uh, when the temperature increase, so the change of length there there will be a change of length. Okay, uh, so when there is a change of temperature, there must be a change of length. Uh, that means there must be expansion. Uh, any objects will have expansion. So, we can say not just the aluminium lid, not just the aluminium lid expand, the glass jar also will expand. Ah, so, if both, both objects expand, so how do the aluminium lid can be open? Impossible to open because both objects expand. Yeah? So, it still cannot open if both objects expand. But why? It gives you the, uh, this value of alpha. Uh, so this uh, this question actually want to test your knowledge whether do you re understand the meaning of alpha ah uh, so how do we get this uh, what, what what is it defined what uh, what is the definition of this coefficient of linear expansion ah uh, so coefficient of linear expansion actually it means ah uh, it means this alpha it means the ability the, this coefficient of linear expansion, this coefficient means ability of, an, of a material to expand. Uh, in other words, we can say um, uh, if the higher alpha, uh, higher alpha, that means it will expand faster. The material expand faster. Uh, okay, higher alpha means the material uh, expands faster. Yeah, uh, if lower alpha means the ex material expand slower. Uh, so alpha is the ability of material to expand. So if we compare uh, between the glass and aluminium, obviously the aluminium has a bigger value. Uh, obviously the aluminium has a bigger value compared to the alpha glass has a lower value. Uh, so we can say aluminium expand faster compared to glass uh, so if you run this what run hot water and uh, hot water onto these uh, two objects aluminium and the glass the aluminium will expand faster but uh, yeah the glass expand slower uh, so that's why this aluminium expand faster so that's why it becomes uh, less tight and we can open the lid because uh, aluminium expand faster compared to glass Okay, uh, you can write there. Uh, uh, so we can say that uh, we can say that the aluminium expands faster than the glass because it has higher alpha value. Uh, that's why we can open the lid. Okay, let us look into uh, this. How to first we need to derive the formula for alpha. Actually, I explained about this uh, in the summary video. Okay, let us derive this. Uh, derive an equation for alpha okay from this given formula delta l equal to alpha l not delta e so alpha is actually delta l over uh, l not delta t uh, or we can say this l not go to the top it becomes uh, delta l over l not 
uh, over delta t. Ah, so it means here. Uh, look at here. So um, delta l over l naught is actually a fraction. Yeah, a fraction. Uh, fractional change in length. Okay, and then uh, delta t is the change of uh, temperature. That means alpha is the fractional change of length uh, over change of temperature. Uh, so that's the definition of alpha. So if we uh, look at the, um, let's say we take the alpha for glass. Yeah, let's say we take the alpha for glass, which is um, uh, nine. Uh, well, alpha for glass is nine exponent. Uh, negative 6, 9 exponent negative 6 per degree Celsius. So it means that the fractional change is 9 exponent negative 6. Ah, it's a fraction, you know, over the change of temperature of 1 degree Celsius uh, compared to alpha of aluminium, okay, aluminium lead. The aluminium is, the fraction is higher. That means the change of the fractional change in length is higher uh, over the change of in uh, one degree Celsius. So you see, with the same amount of temperature change, let's say uh, I heat up both objects, the lid and the jar, the aluminum and the glass, we heat it both together, the increase in one degree Celsius for both will cause, will cause both, uh, both uh, objects to expand. Yeah, will cause the uh, glass to expand, will cause the aluminium to expand. The change of 1 degree Celsius, the increase, the increase of 1 degree Celsius will cause both objects to expand. The glass and aluminium both will expand. The lead and the jar both will expand. But the aluminium has more expansion. Uh, the fractional change in length is, is much higher. Uh, uh, the change in the temperature is the same. The change in temperature is the same. But the change in the the fractional change in length is much higher in aluminium it's much higher in aluminium uh, compared to the the fractional change of length in glass uh, is lower uh, so we can say uh, I, L, aluminium has higher alpha yeah glass has a lower alpha which means uh, aluminium expand faster uh, it expand faster compared to glass. This one expand slower. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, so we can say uh, higher alpha means higher expand faster expansion faster expansion. Uh, that's uh, what that's why the lid can be open. Uh, yeah, uh, because the fractional change is higher for fractional change in length is higher in aluminium for the same amount of temperature change one degree Celsius. Yeah, we can say um, how many times? Uh, uh, if we divide, uh, if we divide, um, uh, how, uh, if we divide uh, aluminium divide by the glass, what? How much we? How, how much do we get? Okay, the alpha of this one divide by uh, aluminium over 9 exponent negative 6 okay what do we get what do we get uh, let's divide and see ah 2.67 oh so that means the alpha of aluminium is a uh, 2.67 times alpha of glass uh, what does it mean yeah when we divide okay this one uh, uh, the unit is per degree celsius per degree celsius when we divide no more unit okay so that means the alpha for aluminium is 2.67 alpha glass that means uh, we can say a statement like this uh, so we can say uh, aluminium lead expands 2.67 times faster than the glass jar. Yeah, uh, ex, uh, glass. Let's say glass jar expand 1 cm. This the the 1 cm. This aluminium lead has expand 2.67 cm. Uh -huh. 
okay aluminium expand 2.67 faster than glass jar because of higher coefficient of linear expansion uh, of uh, this alpha value okay of this alpha value uh, so alpha of aluminium is higher than uh, the alpha for glass because of this reason uh, that's why I can open can open the lid Uh, yeah, the lid expand faster. The lid expand faster uh, than the jar. Okay, because of higher coefficient of linear expansion. Okay, so that's the answer for this question. Okay, thank you.